Hi guys, it's Eli from TutorialEdge.net and welcome to the sec tutorial in my Programming 2D Pong with LWJJL3 tutorial series. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create our Vector 3F math based class that will come in very handy when we want to start moving objects around on our screen. Unfortunately the third official release of LWJJL was stripped of its math based classes and has become more streamlined in its composition so this is the reason why we're creating our own Vector 3F class. So we're going to start by right clicking on the utils package and creating a new class and we're going to call this Vector3F. Okay. So our Vector3F is basically going to be a way to represent three floating point value, uh, variables and these are going to be x, y and z. Um, we're going to have two constructors, one of which will um, initialize everything to zero and the other will initialize everything to the three parameters that we're going to have feeding into that constructor. So to get us started we're going to create these three variables. So it's public float x, y and z and that's all. And then moving on to the constructor, this will be the first one that takes in the parameters 3f and float x float y and float z for our parameters. We're going to set this dot x equals x, this dot y equals y, and this dot z equals z. And our second constructor would be vector 3f. And it takes in no parameters this time. And basically we're going to do this dot x equals 0, this dot y equals 0, and this dot z equals 0. This isn't strictly necessary as this already initializes them as zero um, but we put it in there any, anyway for good measure. Um, so that's all we need for this class right now. Um, if we start doing more complex vector calculations like dot products and translations then we can add that functionality to this, to this class later down the line. Today was just a short tutorial and in the next tutorial we'll be looking at the classes which represent our paddles and balls and getting two movable paddles up onto our game screen. If you found this tutorial helpful then leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more LWJGL tutorials. Cheers!